Hi, my name is Anthony Pelais. I'm Senior Director of Exhibits and Innovation here at the Museum of Science and Industry. And he, we're here to talk about sinkholes. It's, sinkholes is sort of a very big category of, of a geologic phenomenon where, where it seems like everything is normal, but it can cave in. And, and, the, and sinkholes can occur naturally. For, for example, caves are essentially sinkholes where, they will, um, where the limestone will dissolve. But they can also occur uh, as a result of, of development and, and things that uh, people do as well. We see a lot of these here in Florida. Uh, I think uh, you know. I know the answer to that. But we, if you can explain wh why why does Florida see so many sinkholes? Florida is a popular state, and one of the things is that Florida, you know, being a peninsula and it's basically being kind of a big sandbar, uh, has a lot of saturated water. And since you know we have a, a tremendous amount of development that's occurring, the water is pumped out for for agriculture, and. Ultimately, little by little, the water is pumped out from underground, and we start to we start to see that the the actual soil itself becomes brittle, and it's it will actually become hollow underneath. And you know, you can have entire housing developments and buildings and everything on top of basically a hollow cave. And over time, if it's you know the water is extracted, everything can cave in, and that's basically what a, what a a sinkhole is. Now you've been very kind enough to uh, build us a couple sinkhole models here. We've got one where we're going to replicate a sinkhole and then we've got another that's a bit of a cross section. So let's start here. I'll take a seat and you explain to me what we're looking at here. So, so what we're looking at is basically how a sinkhole can form. So whether it's the, the limestone that's in the middle, Florida has a lot of limestone, or that the water's taken out, basically we're playing geological geologic Jenga. So little by little, you know, we have our, our car that's nice and safe, unaware of what's taking place underneath. And little by little, the, the, the support uh, underground can give away. And then finally to the point where, where we have a sinkhole. So it's what we have when we, from Florida being very moist, you know, we have, you look at a sponge. Sponge is very moist and it's pliable. Think of the soil that way. But if we take out all the water, it becomes very brittle, and it's actually very easy to, to break. And that's basically what happened here with our, our car falling into, into the sinkhole. And uh, when it comes to actually eroding this, the limestone underneath, which is what we just saw, yes. that is not only done just through natural erosion from water, but actually there's an acidic process, correct, that, that happens when you introduce rainwater. Well, the, the rainwater can, can occur, can be naturally acidic. But also, if there's acid rain, the water will actually seep into, into, the, into the ground and actually um, erode the limestone from inside out. That, you know, Florida is full of caves. We have a massive, massive cave systems. And, and that all occurred naturally. But um, and if, if we have pollutants in the air, due to air pollution, we can actually create the acid rain, which will actually increase the, the phenomenon of, of sinkholes. Okay. Now, you've also created an actual sinkhole model here. I really appreciate you doing this. Look, we got our little car. Sure. What is that, a Mini Cooper? Yes, Mini Cooper. Oh, Great car. All right. Yeah. Well, so, we so, might be filing an insurance claim here. <laughs> so, so basically what we have here, we have the water that's saturated just like in Florida. And this, there's a lot of things that can occur. For example, a broken water main can also occur this way. Or if we pump out the water. So I'm going to simulate what happens if... We pump out the water in in our in our sinkhole simulator. So, a little siphon going there. And as you can see right here, it's not a very dramatic sinkhole. There it went, though. There we have our sinkhole. And then little by little, if you if you can follow, it's kind of hard to feel. But if we have weight, you know, our mini Cooper is pretty small. But if we add weight, all of this can cave in. Um, And you can get become very brittle. So there we have our sinkhole right there. So, and, 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 and you did a good job of explaining it, but just do it for me again. How the, you pumped, you you used this to to pump water into this bucket of sand, which saturated the sand, recreating what Florida's ground looks. Yes. Like. So so Florida's ground being very saturated, it's pumped with water, and then all I did was I took out the water from underground, which is how the water is extracted especially in the area of agriculture. And just little by little, as we extract the water, it, the, the water will 
leave, make it seem like everything is okay on top. You know, we're houses and cars and everything on top. But uh, as we extract the soil, the water and the soil and everything from underneath, we, we basically create um, sort of a, a dangerous uh, um, a situation for our, for our infrastructure that's on top. And especially since, in this case, you know, we wouldn't admit, we wouldn't know. So, you know, it is possible to detect areas. You know, we know that there are certain areas that have a, um, a greater proclivity for sinkholes. Um, technology can be used to detect the possibility of sinkholes, but it, it for the most part, always t tends to take us by surprise, especially, um, especially when we have such a, a, such a high rate of development here in Florida. Yeah, that, it's not just rainwater. It could be irrigation water, too, where you're watering lawns, golf courses, that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, and, and, and for example, water main breaking uh, will also have, you know, just maybe just a little bit water over time can create this, this very large pocket and can an entire house can cave in just from that. So it's, you know, this it's a situation where um, just given Florida's uh, unique um, geology and just its popularity as far as, you know, as far as development, that we will, you know, we've, we've seen sinkholes for thousands and thousands of years. We'll continue to see sinkholes in Florida for thousands more. You got that started with a siphon. Did you get a mouthful of sand when you just did that? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs>